Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I would share with you some things that I have ordered from Ohm recently. I'm gonna start with what is in this box. And this was part of the August release. This was uh, by Yuna Kun. Um, and this is part of the, the Fun Zone release. And actually, let me just show you the little card here. So the Fun Zone release um, had quite a few beads in it. It had some beautiful glass beads. Um, we have Sweet Spectrum, which is right here, and then Candy Cloud, and then uh, some really fun silver beads and then um, kind of like a re-release of this particular bead right here, uh, back by popular demand, so to speak. Um, so I'm gonna show what I purchased here. So one of the beads, and let me kind of zoom in, is this beauty here called Sweet Spectrum. And it has, as you can see, kind of like that beautiful uh, bluish green. Uh, and then it has like these just, uh, well, I don't want to say stripes, but it, it does have um, like these other colors just kind of swirled uh, within the bead, the, the yellow and that orangish red. And it just really makes for a very fun uh, bead. I thought I would try out one of these. Um, not my typical colors, but I like beads like this that have more than one color to play off of. So this is Sweet Spectrum. I'm gonna show what's in these boxes next. They're both the same bead. Okay. So I also purchased um, a pair of the Candy Cloud beads. This was a bead I just could not resist um, just because of the variation of color within this particular bead. It's got that beautiful like blue that kind of morphs into like that violet pink um, and then it again kind of morphs into purple and um, I just couldn't resist. I love purple, of course, that is my favorite color, and uh, Ohm doesn't have too many uh, purple beads in their collection, and um, yeah, this one was just a no-brainer for me. The next bead that I ordered uh, is this beautiful bead right here, and this one is called Maze of Life. And this is an Ohm Lab creation that was made by Myra, who is Cheng's collection on Instagram. And Myra collaborated with her two younger twin sisters. Um, you know, all of everyone in this family is uh, very artistic. And this is based off of drawings by um, M.C. Escher. And I just think this is just such a fascinating bead. Like, you know, of course, in life, we never know what's around the corner, you know, and what decision we need to make. And, you know, this bead just perfectly illustrates um, that concept, but with uh, Escher's influence. And Escher is an artist that I actually am pretty fascinated by myself. And so this particular bead um, was just a no-brainer for me, uh, especially since it is uh, something that Sweet Myra um, designed. Uh, I just wanted to also support her. She's just such a talented artist. So this is Maze of Life. 
And you can definitely, um, if you haven't read about uh, the concept from start to finish, I definitely encourage you to, um, you know, find Myra's posts on Instagram because she really spoke a lot about, uh, you know, the concept behind the speed. She can explain it so much better than I can. So this is Maze of Life. Now the next thing I ordered, um, it's not a bead, so to speak. Um, this is the Ohm Bar, and this has been um, kind of getting teased for a couple of months now from uh, you know some of the Omis who were lucky to receive this uh, and play around with it a little early. This is a, you know, an ohm clasp, like a Y clasp for your bracelets. And, you know, typically the Y clasp that ohm makes, um, they are at a higher price point and the clasps themselves are a lot fancier, of course. But what's really cool about this particular clasp is that you can put um, a bead over it and you know then you know that favorite bead of yours um, then can become like the focal on the the clasp for the bracelet so I just thought um, this is going to be a lot of fun to play around with you can see you know both the the glass beads as well as uh, the silver bead that I just showed you um, fits on it. So this is the Ohm Bar. So I'll be having fun playing around with that. Now this bead uh, was also released in August with the Back to School collection. And this one is called Boxed Emotion. And this is one I just could not resist. I mean, I was a child of the 80s and um, you know, all of us had boom boxes. Um, <laughs> that was the thing to have. And I just remember me and my friends, like we would walk to school every day and you know, one of us would invariably always have uh, a boom box. And you know, at that time, I wanna say Michael Jackson, uh, like Thriller uh, was out. I just remember, probably to the dismay of all the people um, that were along our route uh, <laughs> that we walked to school. Like we would just be playing Michael Jackson's Thriller and just walking to school, just having a great old time. Um, so, you know, there is the front of the boom box. We have the speakers, uh, we have the volume controls, uh, you know, all the little knobs to adjust the bass and the treble and the balance. Um, the back of the bead also has some lovely detail as well. We've got the ohm symbol. Uh, you know, there's the top with the handle. The bottom has like the little feet and the, the battery compartment even. I mean, it's just such a fun bead. and. This is definitely going to go on my um, childhood memories bracelet. Just could not resist this one. So this is Boxed Emotion. The next bead that I purchased um, is this one from a, the Back to School collection. And this one is called Boarding. And this one has three different skateboards. Like this one that has the little peace sign on the underside of its deck. Like this is a, a dovetailed um, surf skate, I believe is what it's called. And, um, or a carved skateboard. Um, you know, that's I think your traditional skateboard. And then like this one here that has the Ohm logo, like this is um, supposed to be a double kick popsicle skateboard. Um, and these are primarily used for like tricks, grinding, shredding curves and getting airborne. And it's also got the bonus where it neatly fits in your backpack. And then um, this, 
particular board right here with the wood grain is a long board and um, you know I had to get this particular bead uh, because Harland um, you know, this is his mode of transportation when he is up at CU. Like, his, he's pretty lucky. His dorm uh, is pretty much just across um, the way from pretty much where all his classes are. And, um, you know, a lot of the kids at CU either, you know, commute via bicycle or um, longboard or skateboard. So Harland, uh, when he came back over the summer, like he worked a summer job and one of the first things he bought with the money he earned was a brand new uh, longboard for himself. And he's already got it all stickered up on the bottom and yeah. Um, so had to get this kind of as a little reminder for him. Definitely want to get the backpack from the collection too because you know that reminds me of my other son Christopher. Now the next bead that I purchased is uh, in this beautiful box here and this is a Olmistry design um, and this is Alara the Kitty Corn. Now this particular bead there's only 111 made and this is the little uh, insert that comes with her and as you can see it's a special limited edition by Ohm and it shows uh, you know Alara a picture of Alara there and this was basically designed by Yasmin Marie and I received number 89 of 111 and this particular bead I just love the cover art again you know this is my color you know my favorite color right here um, and the fact that it is just this adorable little kitty like I have forever mourned the fact that I missed um, Caterfly and this uh, is just an, an equally adorable bead with a cat um, and as you can see Alara has a collar and the collar she's got this beautiful star and she has just this cute little face uh, with eyes with little eyelashes you can see the whiskers on the side of her nose and she does have this adorable little unicorn horn and then she also has you know these little wings on the back along with her little tail and then of course you see all of her little feet let me just see now all of these um, have of course the artist signature um, there you can see is the engraving, you know, showing the, um, the serial number that matches my certificate, the ohm sign, the 925, and I do believe right there is the artist um, signature. So this is Alara the Kitty Corn, and I am so, so thankful that I was able to order one. Okay, I'm gonna go in what's in this pouch here. And in this pouch um, was a remake of a bead, um, kind of like a, a not so secret. I think Kit actually was one of the last people to know that this was being done. But uh, there was, Ohm was sweet enough to remake uh, this long since retired bead called Cute Chameleon. Um, for a lot of us like it was a, a special pre-order that was up for several days like they found the original silver molds and agreed to make this and this is just gonna be the perfect little Pascal on my uh, Rapunzel bracelet and you can just see we got all the little feet and the little tail and then he's got the little uh, striping and little ridges down his back. Just the sweetest little eye. 
and the design is exactly the same on both sides. And of course, here we see the own logo and the 925. And then of course, here we have the, the other side. But this is just gonna be perfect as Pascal on my Rapunzel bracelet. So thank you, Rita, for sweet talking someone there at Ohm headquarters uh, to do this for all of us. I'm gonna show you what is in this box next. And this here um, is Deadhead Moth. I have been wanting this bead forever and I thought it was gone forever like I thought I had missed it and I recently saw Angie who is Daily Charm Addict post um, her deadhead moth and you know when I was just kind of telling her oh my gosh how lucky you are and I'm so happy that you have one I want one she actually messaged me and uh, told me uh, where I could get one of these for myself and um, so I went right away and I ordered. And this also was a special limited edition by Ohm. And this one is number 50 of 1,111. And this is just such a gorgeous bead. Um, and this is Oh my gosh, I am just so thrilled and excited to have this. Just look at all of that beautiful detail um, on this particular moth. You can see, you know, its little face and its little body. I mean, you've got dots and little lines and little swirls it, it's just so ornate I can't even imagine the talent of the the artist who designed this all in wax and the bead itself um, is kind of hollow and the back side of the bead is exactly the same as the front and this bead um, is similar to Butterfly. Like this one I think is going to go really well and work well on a fantasy necklace, kind of as a splitter bead. And I am just so looking forward to playing around with this particular bead, like on my Black Onyx um, fantasy necklace for Halloween. Um, so you will definitely be seeing uh, this particular bead on a fantasy necklace as well as probably a bracelet or two but this is the beautiful deadhead moth and if you're interested in knowing where to purchase this just send me a message and I am more than happy to to share uh, where I purchase this so you can hopefully get one too I'm gonna share what's in this box next and this box also uh, contains a special uh, limited edition by Ohm. It's like this, um, I guess, is uh, an exclusive um, to Europe. And, you know, I love Halloween and I do not have hardly any orange beads from Ohm. And, you know, I had commented on, you know, her bracelet that, oh my gosh, I just love this orange bead. And she messaged me back and she said, you know, it's still available um, at Perlin and it's even on sale. So I did not hesitate. I ordered this particular bead. I received number 103 of 111. And this is just a beautiful, uh, orange bead with these little black flecks um, going throughout. Just a lovely, lovely bead. Like I'm looking forward to styling that, styling this uh, with Deadhead Moth and uh, with my Boo bead. Uh, so this is Marmalade. All right, so one last bead to share. And this bead um, has the funniest story behind it, but let me show it to you here. I uh, ordered myself uh, one of the word beads. 
And this bead, um, I looked up and, you know, the OM, the OM website in the States uh, did not have this particular bead in stock anymore. Um, and so I went and looked and I actually found it in stock on the OM Thailand site and ordered it and it was shipped right away. I think with the postal service, this bead probably took four months, maybe four and a half months uh, to get to me. Like I, you know, tracked it and I was so happy. Like I saw it land in the United States. I received a shipping notification. It was in New York. And I thought, oh, you know, great. You know, it's probably going to be another four or five days before it got to me. And I start watching the tracking and, you know, it went from New York to New Jersey. And then it went to North Carolina and then to Florida and then to Jamaica. And then um, from Jamaica, like it took a day to go from Jamaica to Japan and then uh, another day to go back to um, Thailand. And it's just so funny, like it took all of 24 hours to go from uh, Jamaica to Japan, and then, you know, another 24 hours to go, you know, from Japan to Thailand. And I'm just like, what the heck, you know? It, it took three, three months almost to get to New York, and it only takes 48 hours to go back to Thailand from the States. Um, so I had messaged Ohm and, you know, just said, you know, I don't know how accurate, you know, the shipping is, um, you know, and I know you have no control over it, but can you guys check? And, you know, they messaged me back and said, sure enough, you know, it was sent back to them for some reason. So they wound up, uh, resending it back to me via DHL this time. And, um, I finally received it and this is just, you know, the infamous, um, you know, fuck bead, um, which I think, uh, given its travel history, um, it has the appropriate story to go along with it. And, uh, I will gladly pair this particular bead with my, um, WTF bead from Ohm as well. And I definitely want to get a few more of the word beads, you know, definitely want to get like the love one, um, the hope one, you know, they definitely have some wonderful beads. And I love that, you know, it's got a hole um, on the top so you can also style it on a like a drop necklace um, or you can, you know, wear it, you know, this way on your bracelet or you can wear it this way. So very fun. And uh, yeah, that is my um, recent, I guess, Ohm Collective haul. Uh, definitely hope you enjoy uh, or enjoyed the video. And, you know, definitely let me know what you think about it. Um, I love to hear back from all of you. So uh, definitely leave me uh, some comments. If you like the video, definitely uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, definitely subscribe and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Mm, goodbye.